guys, it's James with a Cinema 4D quick start uh, tutorial. Basically, uh, you start your Cinema 4D and this is what it's going to look like. So basically, you need a few things to happen. You need to set up your render settings and you need to learn how to bring something in and start playing with it. So let's do that. It's going to be a short tutorial, kind of quick, and go right over the uh, basic setup to get going and making images or making whatever you need to make. So let's go over here to render, um, and you'll see edit render settings. Whenever we render something, that is our image. That is what we are making it to render is to make. So we can click here, edit render settings, or we can click over here with little settings, uh, gear, and the, uh, you know, the marker. So let's click here. Um, basically, you have your output saves, um, and these are your designations. So presets, 800 by 600, you know, I, I don't want that. You know, we're going to make a PNG. We're going to make a screen image right now. So let's just make it, uh, you know, like a good good 1440 by 900. Nice, uh, good internet image. We're going to do uh, current frame. This is really important to pay attention to. Frame range. Um, you're doing a single image, you want current frame. If you're going to make a movie, you want all your frames. If you want just a uh, certain, you know, you want frame 25 to frame 100, you're going to go to manual and you're going to put in frame 25 to frame 105 and it'll give you the 81 frames. Um, also, just a quick note, you'll notice on the screen, when I, whenever I press a key, it'll come up and tell you right here. So just to know if you're having trouble seeing something, maybe you missed a keystroke. Um, okay, so now we have how we want to set, how we want it to go. I'm going to do current frame because I only want one image. We go to save, and we can put in whatever we want to save it as. I'm going to call it test for the instance, and format is how we want to save it. So I'm going to pick PNG, but these are the options that you have. AVI movie, .mov, uh, you know, lots of quick time options, uh, Photoshop, JPEG, bitmaps. Um, you know, so whatever you really want to make, you, you pretty much can. Um, and since when I make this image, I don't want the whole background. I don't want the blackness. I just want the objects that I'm going to create. So I'm going to click on alpha channel. Okay. And that's going to give me just what I create. Nothing of space. So if you do want that space, unclick that and you can have it all. So that way you can insert a sky or, uh, you know, clouds, whatever you want to insert, you can. Okay, so now we go down to multi-pass. You know, you don't have to. You can. I do. Uh, I just add it. Maybe you know a little more detail can't hurt. Anti-aliasing. We want best. One by one. Four by four. And options doesn't really change here. Stereoscopic. Nothing to really change here. Um, in effect, you can add you know effects to when you render stuff like that. And you know you'll play more of that as you get used to playing it, playing with uh, Cinema 4D. So, just to keep in mind, keep eyes open. So let's bring in an object. Two ways. You can create an object here, or you can bring one here, here by pressing this button here. So let's bring in a cube, and just move it around. I'm pressing 3 and moving my mouse key, and you'll see how it moves around like that. It just flops and flips and flies and flongs around. Okay, if you press 1 and grab the object, you move the whole plane of the object. Uh, the whole plane of whatever you grab, um, which is the whole thing. So you see I'm just sliding it down, sliding it down. And two, uh, zooms in and out. And it zooms to the point where you clicked. So if you notice when I move, it puts a crosshair. And that's where my center of space is going to zoom towards. Okay? So that's how you move your space around the object for your view. Um, You'll know you'll get used to doing that, and you know when you click on an object, it's more uh, more feasible to move around than if you just click open space. You notice if I click open space, it kind of moves it around a little jumpy. Now if I click the actual box, I spin it right around the box. So now I can move from corner to panel, to panel to side, whichever way I want to move. Now some objects have uh, quick sizing uh, blocks like this. Uh, you can move them up, down, make them any size you want. And you can also adjust anything for an object that you bring in over down here. Okay, everything will be here will be placed here on the right side. You bring it down here and you can adjust the size. You see it shrinking. You see it growing. Um, the segments, you can add in segments. 
which makes it better for editing, which we'll get to later on. You can do a fillet, which will put edge, uh, nice round edges on everything. Um, you can change the radius of it. You can add in, uh, you know, take out. Um, coordinates, now this is like your position. So if uh, you want to rotate it, you can rotate it. If you want to, you know, uh, flip it, you can flip it. And it's all based on degrees, so if I wanted a perfect flip, 90 degrees, there it is. Um, if I wanted my position to be 20 inches, I'll move it over 20 inches. So, you know, everything's movable here and here. Uh, and here, uh, to be honest with you. You can uh, move the position. It won't move uh, while you're changing it. But if you notice, uh, it was 20, and let's say I make it 150. Okay? You see how when I clicked off, it went back? 150. I click over here, does nothing. I click apply, it does it all. See how it moves? It won't move while you're doing it, but once you click apply, it will move. That's just a few quick ways to move something around. Um, like I said, and you know you can flip it and. And real simple, you want you want another one. You want them side by side, and it's, you know, Control C, Control V, copy and paste, and then click on one of them. You slide it right over, and now you have two. So let's add some color to these, and you can see what we're looking at for a final product. Now, say you want to see what this looks like rendered. Okay, there's no color, no texture. It's just empty space with an object. So let's click this button here. This renders your image as it is in your window. So if you didn't like the view, you can turn it up and then re-render it, boom, it'll do it again. And those are pretty accurate render times. So if you start adding in a lot of effects, you know, that's just going to make more time that it takes to even render this image. So let's go down here and this is what I'm going to recommend to you. Load material presets. Okay, there are tons of already made textures and colors throughout Cinema 4D that you don't even really need to make your own for quite a while. At least until you get used to what you're looking at and how things are played around. So that's basically what I use and user materials are any materials that you save or you make and save. And I'll show you how to do that in a quick second. Um, and you know just I just want to show you that you have so many options for each one. You know they just just tons of options so all right well let's go let's bring in a uh, material we'll bring in some uh, plastic glossy blue okay it's just gonna be material that plastic glossy blue that looks pretty glossy so let's drop the texture on there re-render it boom now it's blue a little bit of shine all right not bad now let's say I want the same blue but darker on this side okay so I'm gonna click on this texture down here copy and paste now I have two of them okay so if I click here see it highlight that one click over here highlights this one that means it tells you that that is that texture so I want to change this one so I'm going to double click on this guy it's going to bring up the material editor if you see how my colors are I want this one to be more purple so I'm going to drag that red up and make a real bright purple Okay, you see how it just changed the color? Close that out. Now that color is that. I'm going to throw that on that texture. Let's see how that looks. And then you have two real simple blocks. You can move them any which way you want. Check out the colors. And, you know, and if you use real dark colors, sometimes they won't show up. So you're going to have to add in a light. And you can do that by going up to the light bulb. And the easiest way until you really figure out how to use the lights is just hit light. And then move the light, you know, you see how it comes in front. It's going up, above, you know. And you add that light in, now look at the render. It's got that shadow right there. So you could do some effects with, you know, the shadowing. So now we have our basic picture. We have our model. It's nothing special, but it's there. So let's render it now, right? Okay. So let's go over here and let's go to render. Let's go add to render queue. Now, it's going to want you to save the file, which is fine, 
because it's going to want to make a project file in case anything happens, like if it crashes or if you want to make a change. You know, whatever you want to do, it, it's not that bad of a thing, trust me. So let's just go ahead and call it test. We'll save it. Now, because I saved it as a PNG, I'm going to name it test. You see here it says image test. It'll already append the PNG, Portable Network Graphic, on the end of the file when we're done. So I go down here to test. I make sure I am clicked. I am checked marked, ready to go. So now I'm going to go up to start rendering. And it's going to go. And it just rendered that image. So now that image is done. And where it is, is in wherever I put it, wherever I saved it to, which was test in one of my files. So I'm going to go find that one. I'm going to go here. We're going to go here. And we're going to go here. And there it is. And you see there's no black background. It's a completely transparent image. And that is how you make a simple model in Cinema 4D. So thanks for watching, guys. And I plan on making more. Please leave some comments and feedback, whatever you liked, didn't like, or whatever you want more of. Um, I plan on making more over time. So thanks for watching, and peace. You guys take care.